The U.S. ambassador to Indonesia, Robert O'Blake, made his first official university visit since the, he took office in October 2013. At a seminar held by the School of Government and Global Affairs at UP, uh, UPH, the ambassador gave an open lecture on entrepreneurs and entrepreneurship and innovation. Florence Amen sat down with Blake on the sides of the seminar to talk about his views on Indonesia's entrepreneurship innovations and democracy. Hello, thank you for watching Indonesia Highlights. Now, an open lecture was recently given by the U.S. Ambassador to Indonesia, Mr. Robert Lake, at the Hope Auditorium in uh, the Universitas Pelita Harapan. And uh, currently, I'm sitting down with the Ambassador to tap on his mind about entrepreneurship and innovation in terms of Indonesia's and US relationships between U.S. and Indonesia. Ambassador Blake, it was a very interesting open lecture you gave um, earlier. Now, um, to open this short interview, 1998 was a great uh, milestone for Indonesia democracy and then as it strengthens the U.S.-Indonesia relationships. And then in 2010, the President Barack Obama and Yudhoyono inaugurated the U.S.-Indonesia Comprehensive Partnership. Now, this is 2014. How do you think we're doing so far? How do you think the relationship is doing so far? I think the relationship is doing extremely well. Mm -hmm. As you know, Secretary Kerry was just out here about a month ago, and he had the, the opportunity to review the entire scope of our relations with mm -hmm. the foreign minister. Mm -hmm. Uh, and specifically to, to assess how we've been doing uh, under the comprehensive partnership that our two presidents have established. Mm -hmm. And I think it's fair to say that we have never be, been doing more than we have now in, in our two relations. Our trade is up quite significantly. We're looking to expand cooperation between uh, our universities, which is why I was here today. Mm -hmm. But we're also working in so many different areas like science and technology, health, defense, mm -hmm. counterterrorism, mm -hmm. uh, and many, many other areas. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're very pleased with the cooperation, but we want to do more. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I understand uh, with the cooperation, uh, US, uh, United States have somehow, uh, if I'm not mistaken, if I've got the uh, number right, invested 160 million over five years period to uh, a relationship between US and Indonesia on the education sector. Yes. And this has resulted since that was a sign, a 10, 15% increase of Indonesian studying in the US and 65% of US students studying in Indonesia. Yes. Now, uh, there's, there's quite a big gap there. As you say, the, our overall goal is to significantly expand the number of students going in both directions. Uh, and we're very pleased with the progress, but we want to continue to do more. And we think that one of the best ways to do that is to establish partnerships between American universities and Indonesian universities. Mm -hmm. So uh, what they have here at UPH is really, I think, quite a, uh, an important model and template mm -hmm. for what we're trying to accomplish around Indonesia. So that's mm -hmm. why this was one of my first uh, visits. Okay. What goes into this partnership besides the traditional partnerships that we have students exchange and uh, um, uh, developing research centers? What are the aspects of education that the U.S. could actually help or help Indonesia to foster? Yeah, I think uh, from, from the perspective of, of our customers, the American universities, they would like to have much more in the way of research uh, partnerships that can help establish the relationships uh, between the two universities. And from there, you can start to think about uh, more robust partnerships, things mm -hmm. like twinning um, partnerships, and eventually even uh, the opportunities for American universities to offer degrees here of one mm -hmm. sort or another. Mm -hmm. Now moving on to innovations, um, um, what do you think, what sort of innovations um, the uh, U.S. or the American can, can share with Indonesia and vice versa, what sort of Indonesian, what, what sort of uh, innovation Indonesia can offer um, to the well, U.S.? Well, what we talked about today was um, the, the secret sauce of innovation in the United States mm -hmm. has been, uh, first of all, a very strong university system. Secondly, very strong rule of law. Mm -hmm. uh, third, a good venture capital system. Mm -hmm. And then fourth, uh, the diversity of our country, which continuously attracts uh, new immigrants and new ideas. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think Indonesia has many of those exact same elements. So Qualities. I'm optimistic about the future of innovation. Mm -hmm. But uh, we need to, particularly on the university side, to develop those partnerships. Mm -hmm. Now, entrepreneurship um, is taking flight in Indonesia with uh, most of the backings are from private sector and uh, non-profit organizations. The government is yet to take on a bigger role in boosting um, entrepreneurship. 
Now, what is the current? What is the U.S. currently doing to help the Indonesian or to to uh, take the hands of the Indonesian government and and boost entrepreneurship? Well, I think the the main thing that the government can do is. Um, First of all, to, to help provide sort of the, the, regu the proper regulatory environment, so the, particularly the rule of law. Mm -hmm. um, if I hear, when I talk to American businesses here and when I talk to innovators, probably the most important thing that, that is needed is to encourage greater rule of law. Mm -hmm. I think it already exists, mm -hmm. but the more that that can be strengthened, I think uh, that will help a lot to, uh, again, to foster innovation here. Would it, would it be one of, of the aspects you would like to improve before the end of your term, the rule of law in terms of, um, um, of helping entrepreneurship Yeah, it's just boost one of, in, of several in aspects, but yes. We also, as I said in my speech, we have a number of different projects to actually help um, spur innovation. So we have uh, a, a, a small incubator mm -hmm. uh, where young Indonesians can come mm -hmm. and learn about innovation and they can even get uh, access to angel investors right. who will help to um, uh, fund their ideas but also mentor them about how to kind of take uh, innovation forward. Because I think one of the most important things for people to learn is that um, it's okay to fail. Uh, many in innovators in the United States started out by failing, mm -hmm. but then they learned from those mistakes and later went on to, fa to fund great companies. And uh, so I think that's a very, very important lesson for young innovators here is to don't get discouraged, but to keep trying, learn from your mistakes, and eventually you will succeed. And again, there are many examples of that. All right. Um, that was our first um, segment talking about entrepreneurship and innovation. We'll be right back after the short break.